you guys I am back with another video so as you can see I am sitting down honey and I have new hair okay I got new I got some I got some I got some bundles honey yeah but today's video is not about this hair but that video is coming okay so today I'm gonna do a freshman advice slash just college advice video some tips and tricks that I use for myself as though advice that I wish people had told me my freshman year of college if you don't know I'm already a senior this is my last semester in school as an undergrad and I'm so 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 excited so right now I'm just gonna give you guys some tips like I said that I wish that I knew as a freshman as well as some senior advice and some overall advice that you know you may not know or things that just may help you if you're a college student so let's get right into the video so we gonna start out with the freshman advice my number one freshman advice I'm gonna give you and this is off the off the the, the strength of knowing do not buy books I don't know who who need to hear this but for those in the back freshmen do not buy books I'm saying do not buy books and I have several reasons why first of all if you're a freshman if you have a roommate if you have friends that you know nine times out of ten most of you guys are taking the same exact classes you're taking your basic math English science maybe you guys all have the same classes go find you a friend or you and your friend go half on the book and you know you she may have it on Tuesday you may have it on Wednesdays use each other books ask if the book is on hold in the library do not just go and buy books like go ask if it's on hold go see if it's in the library for free before you purchase the book I don't I know so many people have spent hundreds of dollars on books and don't use them like make sure you do your research make sure that you need the book before you purchase it like wait two or three weeks into the class don't get the syllabus like oh my god i gotta get this book right now right now do not do that because you will waste your money a lot of professors they tell you to get the book and not send it in the work is usually already online as well as the book may be online for free and if you do have to need if you do have to buy the book if it's a dire need to get the book rent the book rent it rent it rent it rent the older models they say get edition 18 girl go ahead and get you a 16 because nine times out of ten all the work is the same the page numbers just may be different and maybe shifting around maybe smaller just do your research when it comes to books don't go sending your mama a bill for five hundred dollars worth of books okay because first of all mama gonna be like what of course she'll do it for you unless you have a book voucher don't waste your money on books like oh my gosh I didn't buy books my freshman year I had a roommate she had English one day I had English another day girl we used each other books I had math class with my other home girl had his no I had my other law class with my other homeboy bro I'm coming upstairs to use your book make friends yo make friends in your classes and I'm hype right now because I'm telling you like people waste money on books I've been in college for four and a half years now and I've purchased two access codes I believe and approximately three books because I go to the library I do my research okay I make PDFs I do what I have to do honey so that's my number one tip for freshmen my number two tip is be smart be smart be, be smart be smart be smart I say be smart because a lot of freshmen if you come from a stricter household then when you get to college you lose your rabbit ass mind okay y'all freshmen be wild you know how many people I seen got detoxed my freshman year be smart have fun I'm not saying not to have fun and I will not promote underage drinking on my channel but we all know what college is especially if you go out of state I went out of state we all know you gonna get your little your little your little sips on but be smart don't take drinks from anybody if you're at a party you leave a drink leave the drink there do not go back for that drink leave it where it was at go purchase another one or don't drink anymore that night be responsible when it comes to your health and realize that nobody's there to tell you what to do or how to do it mommy and daddy's not there to take care of you if you have a, gr a group of friends that is perfect make sure that you when you and your friends come together you and your friends leave together make sure that your home girl okay okay take a uber take a lift be smart do not get in a, any do not get in a car drunk do not get in a car with strangers just be smart use the little wits and all the things that your parents told you before you went to college take heed of those things and if something does not feel right then make sure you get out of that situation whether it's being in someone's room whether it's being at a party whether it's in a car with somebody be smart and be be the uh a grown up to say I don't I ain't feeling this let me go back to my room let me go back to here let me go with my other friends be smart do not follow after anybody just be responsible and if you are under age drinking please know that it is illegal it is illegal I know people do it but it is illegal and like I said be smart about it 
my number three tip when it comes to freshman advice do your research when I say do your research, I mean do your research about everything. Find out where the best food is on campus. Find figure out when the if you're taking the shuttle, what time the shuttle come, um, what classes to take. Don't let your advisor pick your classes. Don't take classes because your friends are taking your classes. Do your research. Pick a schedule that works for you. If you know you're not a morning person, don't take no 9:30 because your homegirl took a 9:30. She could get up. You can't. Don't take no morning classes if you can't get up. Do your research about these courses. Make sure you need the classes you're taking. Don't. Just take some cuz Tasha, Keisha, and Taylor is in the class too. So huh, I gotta be in the class too, girl. No. No, 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 no. That don't have nothing to do with your major or what you want to do with your life. Then why are you in that class? Do your research. When it comes to clubs, organizations, um, sports teams, do your research. I can't preach that enough because people get into things that they don't even know what it's about or if it's really for them or it's really true to them and it's speaking to them so make sure you do your research about anything i don't care if it's just about freaking painters club like who knows you never know just do your research with whatever you want to do make sure that you know that that it's for you make sure that it's in your gut that this is what i want to do i'm not doing it because it's such and such you doing i'm doing it because i want to do it and that goes for like i said everything on campus i think i'm on tip four tip four have fun Okay, have fun in college. Have fun your freshman year because honestly, truth be told, the work gets harder, you know, sophomore year and up. Freshman year, it's not easy. I'm not gonna say it's not easy. I'm not gonna say it's not hard. But have fun. Don't be that person always in their room and having no fun. Be smart about your friend, but have fun. Go to football games, go to homecomings, go to parties on campus, go to, if they have paintball, if they have skating, if they have, you know, foam parties. A lot of college campuses do a lot of different things. Go to the carnival, go back, go to welcome back week. Go to those events because you need to meet people. You need to have fun, especially if you're out of state or you're far away from home. Meet people because those people are going to most likely become your family and you need those people, whether, you know, you're sick or you're just home you're homesick or you know you need someone to talk to have those friends my freshman roommate became one of my bestest friends and we're still friends to this day even after i transferred we're also sorority sisters so make sure you have that connection with hopefully your roommate or you know a couple other friends i know some are not lucky enough to like their roommate we got to pick each other so that all worked out and i can't tell you how many times we were both sick or i was sick and she was sick and we had to take care of each other make those connections go to those events go talk to people don't be all scared and in the corner first of all everybody trying to get an education just like you everyone trying to hit up the party or the game just like you so don't be that person like oh, i'm not talking to them or i'm just gonna sit in my corner and not talk. no no talk have fun communicate be, be friendly smile like i know and that's coming from me people watching this like girl you was not friendly at freshman year but I had friends and I was a cheerleader so I did like, know a lot of people and it's always good to know people because you never know when you're walking home late, you know, you see somebody you could just link up to them and walk back to your dorm or to your apartment or wherever you're staying, you know, so definitely have fun, just be safe about your fun, like have fun because I had fun my freshman year and after that, girl, the hard. All my memories are from my freshman year. My, I think this is my fifth or my sixth tip. Y'all go to class, freshmen. Freshman, go to class. Like, don't go to class. First of all, let me tell you this. Every time you don't go to class, you are wasting your mother's money, your parent, your dad's money, the state money, wherever you got the money from, you're throwing it away. Now, I know most times you miss a class here and there. You miss a class. You get sick, you hung over, tired. Miss a class or two, not 12. Go to class because you never know what you're gonna miss some professors don't take late work some professors don't care if you were not there they want their work it no matter if you get it or not go to class this is gonna set the tone for the next four years go to class whether they're easy hard long go to class make it your business to be there get your notes make a friend in that class so if you miss the class you they have the notes for you please go to class like i know people my first semester and i'm like oh what happened to such and such when we came back in the spring and they're like oh they failed out go to class make it your business take your education seriously because nobody's gonna do it for you but you my seventh tip to the freshman and my last tip is this do it for you do everything in college for you go to that party for you pledge that org for you uh join that team for you join that club for you go to class for you get the a for you mommy and daddy are no longer there 
grandma, grandpa not there to iron your clothes, wake you up, get do it for you. If you do not want to do college, college will do you. And when I say college will do you, honey, you will be find yourself somewhere with a 1.2 GPA, back to fail out, don't have no money for financial aid, can't pay your bills, hungry, sad, tired. Do it for you. Want to go to class, want to have fun, want to join an org, want to you know be social but be those things for yourself not for your friend not for your boyfriend not for your sisters do the things that you want to do for yourself and honestly if you feel like school is not for you that's understandable do not waste your parents money do not waste the state's money do not do that if you know it's not for you you have a plan then you know take a step back take a semester off take a break figure out what it is that you want to do for yourself but do not not take school seriously because it is a big thing and it is a lot of money in state out of state school is money so every time you're goofing off playing around you're wasting money okay have fun outside of class outside of class time 9 30 to 10 45 get your work in boo get your grades in that boy kuwait that text kuwait that party is still gonna be going on tomorrow make sure you take it seriously that's all i have to say to my freshmen now going on to my senior advice because i'm a senior Seniors, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all the same thing. Y'all done been through four years. Yo, go to class, yo. Go to class. I know it's hard. I know you're tired. I know you just want to get it done. But we got to push forward. We got to go to class. We got to get it done. We got to submit that last assignment. No matter how annoying, how tired, how repetitive it is, we have to do it. Like, we have to just push forward. I don't know about nobody else, but I had senior writers since I was a junior, honey. A junior. I've been ready to go. I've been ready to throw in the towel. I've been ready to stop going to class. But you got to do it for you as well as make connections like i told my freshman make connections meet people talk to people go to events all them little if emails you uh, you ignore about the businesses coming and different people coming to network go to them go go to those events talk to people about internships reach out to your professors talk to your advisor about your next steps do not do not wait until it's april you graduate and maybe like oh i don't know what i want to do with my life like girl boo what you mean you don't know what you want to do it's over J just push through i can i can't stress that enough because i i tell myself this like girl you gotta do it you gotta finish it because we are at the very end i was supposed to be class of 2018 if you didn't know that i was supposed to graduate last may but i'm graduating next may because i had an extra semester and i'm tired and i'm weary and i'm just want to be done but i'm doing it so that's the message to my seniors just do what you got to do freshmen i hope i hope i hope you enjoy your first semester at whatever college or university or school you are at and even to my high schools if you're a senior in high school and you watch my videos do the work baby do i'm pulling you baby because you're a baby to me do your work do your research when you go pick in a college because all of that matters you don't want to end up somewhere because your friend picked the school and then you hate the school do your research have fun take school serious because nobody else is going to do it for you and no one else only thing that one can take from you is your education so remember that while you're trying to turn up if you got a payment through at 11 59 don't go out and then rush home for 11 59 oh i forgot one tip to my freshmen and to anybody else in college key tip when you get your syllabus do as much work as possible do as much work as possible if you got workbook pages to do paper to do um anything that you can do without them teaching it to you get it done get a planner oh i'm missing tips <sighs> write these down write these down because i forgot them get you a planner write down what you got to do you got monday tuesday class i mean monday wednesday class tuesday thursday class friday class saturday class write them down write down what you have to do for those classes for that week write down when stuff is due write down when papers are due i don't care if you start school in august and then paper ain't through november write it down put reminders in your calendar so that way when it won't sneak up on you it's like oh snoop i got it. oh snap i got a 10 page paper tomorrow if you wrote it down you would have had notes you would have knew already ask questions get to know your professors honey raise your hand be that what annoy your person and hello hello make sure your professors know you because colleges a lot of professors are adjunct professors so they travel from one school to another school make sure your professor know you make sure they know your face make sure they know your presence yes question comment me i'm here I, I need to i need i need you to know me i need you to see this face so when you email them they're like oh who what you know who i am because i'm gonna be that one student all up in your face making sure my grades are on point another thing i keep forget i forgot tips keep up with your own grades oh I'm preaching to somebody. Keep up with your own grades because Canvas, uh, Portal, oh. 
So that is all for this video, guys. Of course, my camera overheated and I don't even know where I was at talking about my tits. But I think I got all of them out. So yeah. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know who I was talking to. Maybe you're going to college. Maybe you're graduating high school. Maybe you're a senior like me and you're just tired. Take these tips and apply them to your life, freshmen. I'm talking to you if you're a freshman. These tips gonna help you. And when you do, be like, oh, Deja girl, you help girl. And I'm be like, I got you. But that is all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're already not a part of the Glam fan, then I really just don't know what you're doing. We're almost to 100. So, like, that means the little family is just like, <laughs> we're strong, we're mighty. Like, this is me hearting you guys. I love you guys. Once again, I love you. Mwah! Bye, guys. Trap, trap, money, penny.